All right, uh, Governor, uh, OT is doing a lot of wonderful things in Abia State as we speak. You see those three faces where they show for that, those are the people we destroyed our states. You know, like it's just like unfortunately, the same thing where we come from now. People are saying technocrat, technocrat, technocrat. I don't know, I don't know what your basket can do for eight years. All I can see, you know, now the videos where we get from my platform, where I take go show now the road where they do, where will they use hand, they remove biscuit roads. You know, so it's very unfortunate that Obaseki spent the whole eight years. Now they are not trying to uh, uh, cover up his eight years by saying that he was building a foundation. You know, when you are building a foundation, in most cases, you cannot see it yet. Now in the future, now you go see him. Who cares about that now? We want to see things so that we can judge you. You are telling us you build a foundation for eight years and we cannot see it. Now that they talk now, my people, because you know the man will be out of office soon. They are already telling us that the man was using eight years to build foundation. So the foundation, uh, though people will rejoice later on. Uh, but uh, although you might not see the foundation yet, but you will see it in the future. Hey, God. <laughs> we will see it in the future. Ah, I be as you get. Uh, but nevertheless, um, Governor Oti is doing excellently well. When people they do something, we're supposed to applaud them. Let's look at what Governor Oti did here again. Permission and and it's come now it's come true you know so I'm very excited I'm very happy and I'm very happy for the people of Abia State and for the Southeast. So I'm happy that uh, today uh, the problem has been solved. Uh, information available to me is that gas has started flowing from Awaza uh, to the plant. Uh, about four 15 MVA substations have. Uh, been built by Geometric. About 14 kilometer or 24 kilometer uh, power line have been raised by Geometric also. So all is set for ABBA to be powered. I feel on top of the world uh, because we set out to provide reliable electricity for the people of ABBA. I'm finding it hard to find the words to express how I feel. I'm excited that the day has finally come where what we have been promising in Diaba has come true. That is, that we'll be able to give them reliable and affordable power so that they can focus on doing their business with lower operational costs. The first phase consists of three gas turbines. We have a location for the fourth gas turbine to cap the full output to 188 megawatts and as time goes on we'll expand to meet the power demands with our bar friends and even export power into the national grid the much anticipated era of optimal and reliable electricity production and distribution in and around one of nigeria's leading industrial cities aba in abia state nigeria is finally here <laughs> That's great news. All right. May could I help me ask my own governor, governor, Inoya Selbaseki, what he do for almost eight years? Where is Osiomo power plant? People now where they defend that where on day. All those hungry, selfish stomach infrastructures that are defending this satanic governor. Well, on a day, a whole eight years, you guys don't have anything to show. Now, secretary, secretary, now now they carry camera go. <laughs> now, now Josh, no, be me to talk now. <laughs> no, 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 let's say it, Now, carry camera go, secretary. Oh, look at secretary. Hey, look at secretary. I, I mentioned it here the other day. I can build secretary with my followers here. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm yes, telling you. I can build secretary. Obviously. If I raise it here, my people are telling say this is the budget we could quickly build them. We can build it. And of apart course. from the secretariat that Obaseki is showing, with the individuals, many of us have us this uh, different part of Nigeria. Where did they that secretariat where they build way we hear no year what so? Eh? It's very sad. See, 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 Governor Oti will join our office. I beg how many months Governor Oti does play for office? So he never ever spent one year. Abi. 
if I'm not mistaken, he, he don't reach one year. Let the center here and the Tinubu come. It's a big shame. I beg anybody that visited Benin recently, I beg tell us the level of your light there. Because they say your boss like give you now some power plant. Una go uh, <laughs> I watch. I beg. I'm waiting for my turn. I can't wait. I'm, una, I'm starting my engine. No, <laughs> whether they, they give you now twenty four because Governor Oti now is about to be giving his people twenty four seven light. The first state that want to start doing it in the whole Nigeria. All basic, they go from go all white parties, different states. If they go all white party everywhere, you will travel from those states to Lagos State to go and go white party where people they carry blow blow and uh, this thing. Ah, what a shame! Sometimes when I think of it, that I'm part of the people that that brought this man into power in second term in office, I feel ashamed, but I still have to say it because Osomole oh, pushed everybody, you know, to pitily. Support Obaseki. If not that, I do not know be Obaseki. Who know Obaseki? Why should I support someone like Obaseki anyway? I supported him because of the bully, oppression, intimidation, suppression from Oshomole. So Obaseki got back in power based on pity. Let's say it how it is. And every adolite, or rather, the front runners that supported Governor Obaseki that is still supporting him today. I bet you all they are supporting the man based on stomach infrastructure. Yes, go find out, do your research. You will know that this is why they are supporting. It's a big disgrace to know that my state is ugly, dirty. People say, no, they talk, say dirty. Talk. How you say, my take come? Okay, my call, my call, my call, the ratio that for people say, ah, many people for not look down on me. Let's say it, how it is. My state is ugly and very dirty. The only places that is beautiful in a those state now your house. If you build mansion inside your compound, but if you mistakenly carry your camera go outside of your fence, they will see the dilapidated roadway past your your fence. So you all carry that camera, show inside your compound, show inside your room, your living room, show your beauty. Just end that there. Just end it there. So disgraceful. Now, the same people like Rufai stated earlier on that all these satanic people on Twitter, the, the, the bunking, whatever that is happening, supporting their satanic uh, principles and all that, they have started now saying, oh, you people will not understand what Obaseki did, but in years to come, every one of you will get to understand what your Obaseki do. So you want me to take patience, mind the way for years to come before I go understand. When people in Abia is already understanding now, Ah, now wow. Now wow. Anyway, thank you very much, my people. That is all I have for you guys today. I've done my part. I've presented everything that I have for you guys. I like to start hearing from our people. So I like to take calls as usual. As you all know, let me quickly take calls. The first person that is going to call, let's see uh, the first person that is going to call into the show today and take it from there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to every one of you, Mother Rita. I can see right there on the comment section. Thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you very much, everyone, right there. I appreciate you all. I'd like to quickly appreciate um Dosakari for the super chat earlier on while I was giving my presentation. May God bless you. My pocket never run dry as well. Guys, help us to press on that like button, help us to share, press on the dollar sign, encourage what we are doing here. We know they take money from politicians. Now only Una they pay us. Yes, that's one thing you I want you guys to understand. Now una, now they pay us. We know they take money from politicians, and now we never take money from politicians to work against the people. I'm not that kind of person. If I want to do it, I would have done it a long time ago. You get the way they take the you know, say you get the way they take they burn everybody. Some people they way they're born with something, you can't change it. Some people they way come this life, can't learn the same something. So that's a different thing. We don't take money from anybody. I work for Obasaki, I didn't take penny from him, and we didn't discuss it. I work for Peter Obi, I didn't take penny from anybody, and we didn't discuss it. That's not my because I want to be able to be to express myself whenever I'm here. I don't want any kind of hindrances that will stop me from saying it how it is, just because these people have supported you in the past. No. 
There was a time some people were supporting me on this platform as well. They were trying to capitalize on those support to use me and use my platform. I have to stop them. No, she are supporting me just like Mr. Nusakari just supported me right now. You know, tomorrow now you'll now be giving me conditions on the kind of things I need to do. Then you're already putting me in a comfortable situation. She support me from your heart. God bless you equally. But giving me conditions, you must do things like this because of this support, it becomes a problem. This is what we are getting from these people collecting money from politicians. Because there's no way you collect 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, 20 million from politicians and go on air and speak against them. It's not possible. Do your research and find out. You cannot dare. Like I said before, the day I will start collecting money from these people, God forbid, you will know. Because you will not see our common air, I will not start saying actually. You know, people will be asking me a, a straight question. I'll not be saying, actually, you know, actually, you know, say, actually, you know. So I'll not pass the judgment at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. Then you now understand that, yes, this guy has been compromised. God forbid. We, I rebuke that. We shouldn't find ourselves in that kind of satanism. Because there's, there's nothing you're going to gain from it. You can't gain anything from it. So I appreciate every one of you, my wonderful people. Continue to do what you're doing to encourage what we're doing here. And God, God bless all my people. Yes, uh, no call right now. I didn't know. There's nobody calling you. Or is the phone? Anything wrong with the phone? I don't know. I'm not receiving any call. So let me go to the panel so that Mr. Alex can talk to us. I'll pick calls later on. I can check the phone. I don't know. I, no, it's strange. Um, Mr. Alex, thank you very much. Uh, you you are not the first on the panel. The first on the panel is Mr. Jonathan, but I'm only prioritizing you because you joined us from Benin. Talk to us, sir. Yes. Good evening to you. Yes, I have never taken that for granted, and I'm very grateful. Each time I get prioritized, it means a lot to me, because it saves me sometimes from battery. Sometimes it, it runs very fast. You know, I, I can be with gadgets. So I'm very grateful. I've never capitalized on that. And sometimes I, I actually I'm not comfortable with it. At the same time, I'm, I'm very grateful for it due to the, you know, the nature of things around here. But uh, Mr. Najawash, looking at Alex Ote, of course, like I have done with, with Mr. Peter Obi, I have made up my mind. I'll do everything I can to get to political office. At, at whatever level, as councillor, as, as of assembly member, as of, as of right, whatever. There are people who can make the difference. This has gone to show that it's not just talking, people are talking. People really mean well for the states. Alex Oti has let us know that, wow, people can talk and do the talk. Wow, I'm speechless. I have been speechless. I've been seeing videos on TikTok. People are testifying of three straight days, no light interruption. People have been, you know, some, I saw a video, a woman was just crying out of excitement that this is happening in her time. She's 63 years old. She was crying because she didn't see it coming. She said she had given up. So there is no abracadabra. There is no indaboski bahose about this. There is no abitu shaker about this. There's no abracadabra. There's no mystic. There's no mysticism. All the fraud is being exposed. We had similar projects in those states. And some lunatics will come and tell you that it's a, it has been donated to the national grid. What a shame. Built with Edo State ta taxpayers' money. Millions of dollars. When I tell you that we have information as to the account details of, I mean, balance allegedly of the present Edo State governor and his account details before he became a governor. We have information. The world is a small place. We have information, Al allegedly. We do have information. How the guy is now rich in hundreds of millions of dollars. You may dispute it, it's up to you, but I'm talking for the love I have for my land. My great grandfathers gave my father this land and my father is giving it to me and I'm giving it to my children. I'm a stakeholder, I have rights to ask questions and I have right to know what is going on and to give my own opinion, not out of hate, but out of the love for one's land. I may go to England, I may go to Finland, I may go to Scotland, but the only land where I belong to is a those states. This is my father's land. That's why I'm passionate about those states. I'm passionate about Nigeria and Nigerians and governance. But particularly, Alex Oti, actually, I didn't trust him. I must be honest. From the beginning, because of the shage, the political shage they've done, they've done to us. Especially looking at the characters of those 
who came on the Labour Party in the House of Rep and National uh, um, uh, Senate. But Alex Oti has told me, it's like he called my name verbally and said, Alex, I'm your namesake. I've got the kind of heart you have. Just watch me do this thing. And the guy has done it. Where is Obaseke? Send this tag of Obaseke, those the governor, on these videos. Look for that video of that um, project and send it to him. So, so that he will, he will look at himself in the mirror and be ashamed of himself. We live in a state where illiteracy and timidity is just the order of the day. When, when we criticize Tunubu, people hail us in a dust state. When we criticize the uh, former governors, they, they hail us. When Americans criticize their leaders, they say, yay. But when you talk to governor, they say, who are you to talk to a dust state governor? As if he's a masquerade, that we should be, a state, we should be scared of him. Somebody who was born in, in an hospital in Benin City has become a god to a land that gave birth to him, a land that bettered him, a land that preserved his life when he was vulnerable and infant. Suddenly he has become a masquerade. You, you, you cannot ask questions. You, you cannot criticize his wicked policies. You, you cannot ask him why local government uh, elections were, 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 were put on hold for three years. You cannot ask why he ran House of Assembly with nine members instead of 24. No, you, can, you don't have right to ask as an adult son. It's just, it's just, it's just a shame. Alex Oti, you've, you've, you've made me remember Kwame Krumah of Ghana. You've made, me, you've made me remember Thomas Sankara of, of Burkina Faso. You've made me remember the likes of Dilos Nyeri of Tanzania, who forgot to pay children's school fees because he was busy with state affairs. You've made me remember Nancy Mandela, who actually forfeited his youthful life, his children, his young wife, young children, and went to jail for 27 years. Alex Oti, tributes to you, and you have become an inspiration to young people. You have become an inspiration to young men across the country. P people are looking up to you now. You've, you've become a political colossus. You've you become a political parazesus, a political nalima tangere. And I want to say, I salute you. The, the people of Abia said thank you sh for showing the lights. You know, Namdi Azikiwe said, show the lights and let others follow. Indeed, we, we will follow. We will aspire. We will not just keep talking. We'll keep talking and we will aspire. Um, I, I have already said it with Peter Obey, and I'm saying it again, and I will do everything I can to get into politics. I'm scanning. I've gone to the Labour Party. I've seen a little a bit of it. I'll go to other smaller parties. Ah, then I'll know where, where to pitch. Pitch, pitch my tent. What, what matter is the personality, not necessarily the party these days. So ah, this can really happen in, in our time. And I tell you, sometimes we will say it will be in our children, children time. It can happen. Like that young man said, it doesn't take how many years to turn a country around. The wickedness, the evil heartedness of black leadership in Nigeria, especially. My God, what is it? Evil God said, let there be light. Let there be light. Nigerian leaders are saying, no, there must be darkness. And where there is darkness is evil. Manipulation, budget paddling, borrowing and stealing, looking, lies, kidnapping, rape, is what happens in darkness. My goodness. They are ravaging their own citizens. Citizens are busy. Leaders are busy across the world planning for the next 20 years for their pregnant citizens. Those that will get pregnant in the next 20 years. Children that will go to school, technology, transportation, agriculture, security, gadgets like drones. People are preparing to go. Saudi Arabia and other Arab countries are sending women for the first time to go to the moon, to go to space. Our leaders are busy killing, killing their own people with insecurity, lies, taking this money to another man's country. Look at the backwardness. Thank you, Alex Oti. Thank you. And I know you will do more. Bini will see your comments when I win your way. When you thank somebody, you will have the courage to do more. Thank you. Thank you for exposing our government in those states. Thank you. The lies they tell you is laid foundation for 30 years. Go to those states. Come here. When it rains, you, you, you cannot go anywhere for three hours, for four hours. Sometimes the whole day you pack your car and come and take it. The next day, God save you if, if the car is still there. I don't hate anybody. 
I also voted for him. I had nothing in mind. I didn't, in fact, in fact, I hate politics before now because of the occultism involved in it. I can never join any court. I didn't join in my school days. I didn't join uh, as a youth. I didn't join as an adult. Politics cannot drag me to take blood covenant. It was the order of the day in the, in the late 90s, 1999 to 207. It must belong to this and that and that. So that drove me. But, but looking at the things happening now, social media, events, or big movements, then so some of us will say we can no longer keep quiet. We can't stay by the lines and watch wicked men and women continue to perpetuate evil. So we are on a coalition with them. Light and darkness have to meet at some point. Indeed, light has triumphed over darkness in Abia states. Send this video to Mr. Oti. I say thank you. You've inspired me. You've inspired my friends. We've discussed it since yesterday. We've talked about it this morning. We, we've, 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 we've watched videos about it. And we've tagged other people that we can tag to see what is going on. How a man can give light to a state. It's in, in, in a nation where darkness is ravaging everywhere. You can't do business in Nigeria. You have to fuel your generator. You have to fuel your life. You have to fuel your car. You have to fuel everything about you. It's crazy. You fuel everything with the profits you. How much are you, are you not going to make? And they will bring taxes. Nepal will bring beef for you. For, for electricity, you, you, you didn't consume. And when you talk, they say, uh, government is powerful. After God is government. Oh, don't talk. Who are you to fight government? You are a nuisance. Really? And they travel. They travel. The most wicked and dangerous set of human beings are most Nigerian politicians. Governors, name it. Senators, rep members, name it. Very evil set of people. What is wrong in you having a set of emergency on Nigerian electricity? Turning the whole nation into a construction site to, to construct electricity equipment across the nation. It doesn't take two, three years to do these things. Peter will be a great man, went to Egypt to ask them and study them for a week or so before elections. I, I'm sure that was his first project. But these enemies are, 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 of light withstood him. Like the angel told Daniel, the day you started praying, God sent me to come and answer a prayer, but I was withstood. By the principalities. Michael had to come and help me. 21 days we fought. I had to leave him there to come and give you the answers to your prayer. The enemies have withstood Peter Obi, but the journey is not over yet. We, we will continue to fight alongside with Mr. Peter Obi, with Aisha Yusufu, and Medati, and everybody who means well for humanity. So I'm very happy. In fact, I'm planning. Hopefully, God blesses me. Um, if I if I if, if I make money from business or from my work, I'll go to Abia State and invest, even if it's one room apartment. Let me be going there once in a while with my family. It's something. I will invest there. Yes, I will. Even if it's one room and a palo, I'm good. I'm not a greedy human being. The man has brought lights. If I can start a small business there, I will make money because there is electricity and I will pay my bills. Ambia we pay their bills. Do you know where you know that Nigerians are good people? Look at the way they pay for fuel. They go and fuel their car. They pay without hassles. They pay for other things. They work. Government take taxes. There are no hassles. So why are you, why are you wicked in them? All over the world, leaders, they work with the private sector to provide electricity. And the people pay the bills. But Nigerians are saying, no, you must remain in darkness. My grandfather complained about this darkness in the 70s. My father complained in the 90s. I'm complaining now in the year 2024. And my children are about to, to start complaining. But Alex Oti uh, of Abia State is saying, no, we can change the narratives. Thank you. Thank you. On that, I will say I am very, very, very grateful. I'm full of gratitude. I'm full of gratitude. Because the gesture is, is really magnanimous. We have to say the way it is, like Najawash, we always say. We can't continue bombing people, but we have to also praise them when they do the right thing. Thank you, Alex. Thank, yes. you. Thank you. Thank yes. you, Alex. Yes, my Thank brother. You. Yeah, I'm Thank not you. an Igbo man. Some people think my, my mother is Igbo. I'm not Thank an Igbo man, but I'm just say, a man who Thank loves you. to say the truth. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, what can other governors say now? What do they do with this money? Go to Dubai and buy, and buy land and houses that you're going to leave behind. Like your children, some of them will go into drugs and use this money to smoke drugs and take live stupid life. 
most of these leaders, their children are sorry to say, very wayward. I've seen most of them. Very wayward. If you see how they live life, these guys, alcoholic, addiction, and everything. I must I'm, with respect to those that take alcohol. So um and uh, I saw Mac, Michael Zekome. He's a man that I've always looked up to. And he has never failed up to now. Of course, these are some of the people we look up to in school. I, I read textbooks where you your names were mentioned during the struggle for democracy before 1999. With the likes of Ganifa with me and, uh, uh, and the rest. I was trying to ask him when he was on a platform, but I couldn't make it. These are people that should be in, in the affairs of things. Why they didn't aspire for political office? Although it's a legal luminary, but we have some people who were in the legal luminary business and they left for politics. Some of them performed very woefully, like Nelson Wiki. Ozekume and his lights, Fallon and the rest, who are always giving us everything about law and, you know, all whatnot. They ought to be aspiring for state governorship, for presidency, I can't get it. Yes, I understand the passion for, for their profession. Barack Obama is a lawyer, for God's sake. Bill Clinton is a lawyer. They became president. So if you are listening to me, Michael Zekeme, S-A-N, please, sir, consider running for political position, please, either as a president or as a governor of those states. You've been a light to younger ones like us. Thank you for speaking up again. Even when Buhari was in office, you, you, you spoke up, putting your life on the line. Even when you were kidnapped, you came out and God helped you and you, you, you kept on speaking up. Thank you for adding your voice towards the plight of the Hoi Polois, of the, of the Oduduwa Republic, or of the new sector of the Bini Kingdom. We continue to touch like this government. Look at, look at what is going on. The same time Alex Oti came to power, the same time Tunubu and his gang came to power, one would have thought the whole country, federal government projects are, 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 are all going. It's all about going to Dubai, going to this, you know, borrowing money. Very soon now, by October, they, they, they want to borrow for next year's budget. <laughs> Kai, my goodness. Have you, have you read the book Animal Farm? <laughs> These are people that did did the uh, Nadeko. <laughs> Tunubu was part of that. <laughs> Tunubu was part of Nadeko fighting 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 a bacha. My goodness. Nadia was <laughs> oh thank you. Anyways, Mr. Peter will be have said it. We we don't criticize them blindly and uh, we continue to stand for what is right. I, I love the way Peter B is doing that. Those in the those states can see what Peter B is doing as an opposition party. When we criticize the Dose governor, people will say, shut up, who are you? Who is your father? Who, where are you? Before you know your house will be on government land. Your hotel will be on government land. Your private business will be on government land. It will be showing you the meaning of opposition to criticize constructively as a citizen, as a stakeholder. Thank you, Mr. Najawash. I'm still here. All right. Uh, thank you very much, um, Mr. Alex. God bless you. I appreciate you for your submission. God bless every one of you right there listening to us. But before I call on the next person, you know, uh, call us. I don't know what is wrong with my phone, to be honest. Uh, you know, the phone, I, I don't know. I basically this phone, I, I need to change it now. Because I don't know, it, it, it messed up last week again and all that. So, but meanwhile, let's listen to this video quickly. Let's listen to this video here. Yes, the technocrats, people. a technocrat, as we have seen them in this state, are those who convince themselves that everybody in their village are witches and wizards. So they don't go to the village, they can't speak the language, they don't know how to respect things, they don't know how to respect traditional institutions, they wear suits to visit the upper. Look, uh, my good brother here yeah, is, is a very intelligent guy. <laughs> All those research you are talking about, technocratic research, has no bearing with the woman who is selling at the Selu market. The people in Ubuyoko just want to drive on a smooth road. Your research and your technocratic abilities means nothing to them if they are still swimming erosion to go to their various houses. And when I say no, the people, I mean no, the people. We are, we are here. We, talk, we discussed it, I think, maybe if not here, somewhere else. Mm. A man who wants to be governor of our state, who went to his village with an interpreter. How do you explain that? A 64-year-old man, a grandfather, 
went to his village to talk to his people that he wants to be governor over with an interpreter. If a grandfather can do that, imagine his own children, the kind of lead they will have with their people. Imagine then his grandchildren, if they will even know the road to their village. There is a South African song, he says, no matter where you go, remember the road that will lead you home. Mm -hmm. Look, we have discussed this over and over again, and then nobody should reduce a homeboyism or maybe connection to the people to pedestrianism, let me borrow his language, <laughs> to say that a uh, homeboy is an area boy. Look, nobody is an area boy in the real sense of it. It is those that you refuse to give education, those that you refuse to give empowerment, that you now call area boys. If you give them the requisite knowledge, they will compete favorably. And for them to even succeed in being area boys, it shows that they have the kind of competence and capacity that is even more than you if they have uh, equivalent uh, opportunities. So in the final analysis, uh, uh, answering to your question, going forward, you know, you talked about the federal, let's talk about the state. Here, we had a chief, Lucky Benedion, uh, Mr. Lucky Benedion, not chief, as governor. And he was very close to the people. When he left office, most of the investment, are, uh, or most of his investment, are domiciled in the state. His own father's investment are domiciled in the state. One of which we are using to communicate with our people today. If not that they are close to home. He built a university in this town when it was not fashionable to even have a private university. When it was unrealistic to have a private in, a, a, a university. ITV started doing 24 hours when it was almost impossible for a station, even NTA, run by the federal government, was doing eight hours a day. ITV was doing 24 hours. This is because these people have a connection with these people. They built a university in a place that was either to a bush, Okada. Today, Okada is one of the fast-growing society uh, communities in this place. You go to Okada Plaza, you go to Oti, the list is endless. And then we have a comrade that was Shomole, who, despite all his life in northern Nigeria, could speak the Hausa language, but he could also speak Esako language. He also came home every Christmas. He also came home most weekend. And he had a, an infinite connection with his people. Go to his Yamu village and see what he did there. Today we have a technocrat who is neither here nor there. A technocrat who wears suits to the palace of the Oba of Benin. Is it a crime to wear suits? No, 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 all right. If he had done that, he will know that there is a street in Benin called Igoba Simi. You do not contend with the Oba. You don't drag with the Oba. <laughs> he is dragging persistently. All right. He is sure of that in fact. He is uh, he is I will come, come back to you. It is not even the man. Idris. Does. The man does Idris. not understand. Idris. That's, 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 that's the letter. Of <laughs> and those people. <laughs> Nigeria right. was thank you for that video. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so so nice thank you thank you alex part two that guy now alex part two <laughs> exactly <laughs> and people yes yes i'll read. reach out to him or I, I i will reach out to him i've been following him for a while now yeah, my, no, my mother even sent me the video already thank no, you i like that he's a great guy i'll I, bring that, I beg I'll bring you'll play uh, and you'll play that video over and over during the week sir and uh alex what is project if you can get a short video about it i'll, I'll be using it to prepare everybody around the world so that they will know the right thing to do light is i mean light has come anyway M Mr. You Elvis, like you said bring bring the guy here and then let him give a, a kind of analysis on what he thinks about the, the the governorship aspirants that are going to run in the next election and we can have a nice time with him yeah of course he's listening to you now i'll bring him don't worry he's listening to us i'll bring him here so that he can talk to us you know, I, I'm proud of him. Same way I'm proud of every one of you, you know, because he has been there talking. He's really, really talking. He goes to different channels everywhere. He's talking how our state can be better. And that is the best thing, you know, one needs to do right now to have a better country. 